it's hot out here. It's gotta be 102. Not a pleasant day in Texas. Howdy y'all, welcome to the channel. So today we're gonna to be talking about the Chiapa Little Badger. This is a folding, packable survival rifle. Very lightweight, about three pounds. Breech loading, single shot. You can see this is unloaded. Pretty cool little rifle. Now, fold it up. You got a length of about 17 inches. This is easy to fit in a bag, a backpack. You know something of that nature very very small very packable once it's locked open you have an overall length of about 31 inches you have some cool features on here you got some little ammo holders back here they don't work particularly well but they're there steel frame stock you know hammer fired your release mechanism is there to open that breech the extractor comes up you can pull your spent casing out, load your new round, kind of seats down in there, locks open, hammer back fire, you know, single shot. So rinse, wash, repeat, basically. 16, 16 and a half inch barrel. You do have quad pick rails here. And these are individual, so you can remove these. Now, I picked this up used from my friends at Tomball Pond. They are kind of my go-to pawn shop. They have a huge selection. So if you live anywhere in the Houston area or north of Houston, any, anything like that, go check out Tomball Pond. Tell them I sent you. Very, very friendly, nice people, very knowledgeable, and they have a huge selection. So if you're in need of something, go check them out. Uh, back to this. I picked this up for about 170. These MSRP is 225-ish. Somewhere around in there, 230, I think, is the MSRP on these. I picked this up for 175 used because of the couple of upgrades. You have a grip here, a nylon grip from Longshot Manufacturing, and you have a hammer extension. So normally it's just a flat hammer with some little serrations on the top. This you can actually get two fingers on, or what I do is just actually pull it back you know with my trigger finger there but that helps a lot really easy to to get to now you have some m1 style sights they're polymer they do have adjustments uh, i'm going to show you on the bench those sights get a little bit closer it's got a surprisingly good trigger on this for what it is you do have four pick rails here now these are all individual so you can remove these it is a little uncomfortable holding that. They, there is a company, a couple companies that make a smooth underside. So you remove these three pick rails here and just leave the top one if you want to put an optic on there and that will replace it with a polymer grip, which makes it a little more comfortable. You do have a 16 or 16 and a half inch barrel. You have some M1 style sights here. The rear side is adjustable. And it's, it's, it's nice, but it's not great. The hole's a little small, and this just moves for the elevation. It just clicks, you can move that. And so for it to stay in place, maybe kind of problematic, especially if you are hiking or shoving in a backpack, something like that. And you have an, a windage here, you turn this, it will move your sight. All in all, feels solid, well-built. It's a lot of fun to shoot. I was really surprised about how fun this little guy was to shoot. I figured single shot, it's gonna get kind of tedious, I'm gonna get bored. Let's take a couple more, this is fun. I mean, you're not gonna win any speed matches, but. I took this out once before and shot it uh, maybe about 30, 40 rounds through it. Uh, my wife and I went out and probably put another 70 to 100 rounds through this. And, you know, we shot for an hour and a half or so just plinking around with it. I did put an optic on here, which you'll see in the video. Actually, I put two different optics on here. Uh, I picked up just a quick detach riser to make this video easy. I'm going to look around for an optic with a, a quick detach 
you know, already on the base, so I don't have to, to mess with that, but I think that'd be a good option. You may lose zero taking it on and off, but if you're careful with it and you pack it away somewhere in the bag that this is in, it does make the space a little smaller, so that's kind of what I went with. And uh, with a little red dot or something on here, it, it's actually a lot of fun, even though it's single shot. So we had a good time, and I feel like I'm ready for, you know, the zombie apocalypse or something now. So kind of cool. Now this is a project, so like I said, I'm going to get a different optic on here. I just threw the, those couple optics you'll see in the shooting footage, I just threw them on there just to get this video out and kind of have fun with this. The grip here and the hammer extension are both from long shot manufacturing. They make a lot of upgraded parts for this, including a carbon fiber barrel shroud, uh, different sights, things like that. They also make some things for like the high point carbine and some other some other guns that need some improvement. And this grip makes a huge difference on this. It really makes it nice. It has such a short length of pull that this grip does help kind of manage it a little better. You, you feel you don't feel like you're you know shooting your kindergarten BB gun as an adult. All right, so in about 120 rounds or so. We had no issues at all. This hammer has a lot of power and it is knocking the snot out of those rounds and all of them went bang like they were supposed to. Just because of that, that very short length of pull and you're having to hold here. Of course, you're not gonna hold on there. That barrel's gonna get very hot. You're having to hold on this pick rail. Oh yeah, that's gotta go. No, we'll, we'll get the uh, little underside thing for that. Can you see that? Know. Can you see that optic okay? I can see the optic. I can't see where I'm hitting. Do I need to pull this again? You have to unload it. Single shot, remember? Oh. <laughs> this pick rail gets a little uncomfortable here, holding it after a while. Um, these, like I said, are individual. So what I'm going to do is remove these bottom three pick rails. And long shot manufacturing and a couple other companies make a nylon uh, foregrip here for that that takes the place of those three pick rails just bolts right on and I'm gonna go ahead and do that to kind of help this out a little bit so kind of a little project and I'll do another video on this once I get some upgrades on it but I was surprised at how much fun I had shooting this the the packable survival rifle part of it is very very cool but another great use for this I think is for new shooters or if you want to teach your youngsters you know, gun safety and, and how to, you know, marksmanship and whatnot. Uh, this would be a great tool for that as it's single shot. It's very safe. It's hammer fired. So the hammer has to be cocked back for it to go off. And this would be a great training tool, you know, especially like I said, for youngsters, because of that short length of pull, it's very easy for smaller stature people to be able to, to get that up, shoulder it and, you know, get a good cheek weld on there and all that. So you're teaching them kind of basics of a rifle but with only a single shot. And I think it's kind of funny, that's how I learned to shoot when I was very young. My grandfather gave me an old World War II era Remington trainer. So single shot bolt action, and actually the extractor was broken on that rifle. And so he gave me a buck knife and that rifle. And he told me, you're gonna have to use this knife to get Chiapa. I've heard good and bad things from a few people. Uh, this one seemed, these little badgers seem to be pretty well built, or at least this model seems to be pretty well built. It is solid. I mean, you could you could use this as a, a bludgeon, you know, <laughs> if you needed to. It is built very, very solid. And the fact it folds up is kind of cool. I do like the, the looks of it, but we're gonna change that just a little bit and kind of make this my own. Make these in 22 mag and 17 HMR also. This is, of course, 22 long rifle. I don't know if I said that or not yet, but it, it's super, super hot in Texas right now. And I've been outside for a few hours, so I think my brain is melted. But uh, yeah, 22 long rifle on this. They make them in 22 mag, 17 HMR. That's pretty much what I got for you. I will link the very budget optic I used on this and the little riser. I will link those in the description below, as well as my campsite page. My campsite page, I gather some deals from for y'all from uh, companies I'm affiliated with. That does help the channel. Also, I am, an am, I am an Amazon affiliate. I told you the sun baked my brain. 
Uh, I'm an Amazon affiliate, so any of the Amazon links, even if you don't purchase a product I've linked, but you just go to Amazon and buy whatever you normally need using my link to get there, uh, that gives me a little bit of affiliate money as well, which helps me buy ammo and cool little guns like this. So I appreciate that. That's what I got for you today, folks, and I will see you next time I make a video. Y'all stay safe out there.